welcome to welcome to one of the chemistry classes ee video lo manam intermediate first year organic chemistry lo primary secondary tertiary carbons ante enti and primary hydrogen secondary hydrogen tertiary hydrogen ante enti m set f set meet and je mains point of view lo ee concept meda क्वेश्चंस ये विधंगा अड़कता रू अन्ना टोंटे दी चोर बहुत में थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग त्रिनाथ केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दी चैनल सो प्राइमरी हाइड्रोजन लेता प्राइमरी कार्बन अंती हिंदी सो कार्बन इफ इट इज अटैच्ड टू द ओनली अदर कार्बन ओनली वन अदर कार्बन इट इज attached to the only other carbon, only one carbon, it is called primary carbon. If carbon is attached to the two other carbons, it is called secondary carbon. Secondary carbon. So it is denoted with one degree. This is denoted with two degree. So carbon which is attached to the three other carbons, carbon which is attached to the three other carbons is called tertiary carbon. So, car primary carbon means if a carbon is attached only to only to one carbon, then it is called primary carbon. If carbon is attached to the two other carbons, it is called secondary carbon. If carbon is attached to the three other carbons, it is called tertiary carbon. It is called tertiary carbon. So, primary carbon, secondary carbon and tertiary carbon. Primary carbon means carbon attached to only one carbon. It is called primary carbon. If carbon is attached to the two other carbons, it is called secondary carbon. If carbon is attached to the three other carbons, it is called tertiary carbon. It is called tertiary carbon. So, for example, if you take, in this case, both these carbons are primary carbons. Because this is attached to the only one carbon. This is also attached to the only one carbon. So, if you take this example, in this case, there are two primary carbons. So it is attached to the only one prime one carbon. It is also attached to the one carbon. But here this carbon is attached to the two other carbons. That's why it is called secondary carbon. So in this case, there are three primary carbons. There are three primary carbons, and this is tertiary carbon. This is a tertiary carbon. So for example, if you take one more example for this, if you take like this. If you take like this. So, here the carbon is attached to the only one carbon. That's why it is primary carbon. Here, carbon is also attached to only one carbon. It is also primary carbon. But what about this one? This carbon, if you take, here it is attached to the one, two, three. That's why it is a tertiary carbon. So, what about this carbon? One, two, three. That's why it is a tertiary carbon. So, what about this one? Only attached to the, this carbon. It is a primary carbon. So, here, carbon is attached to the Two other carbons, that's why it is a secondary carbon. This, this is also secondary carbon. This is also primary carbon as it is attached to the only one carbon. So let me take one more example. For example, if like this it is given. So like this it is given. So now let us check. So this is carbon is attached to the only one carbon. This is why this is called primary carbon. What about this one? It is attached to one, two, three. That's why it is a tertiary carbon. So if you take this one, it is attached to the two other carbons. That's why it is a secondary carbon. Because here, like this, if you take this one, this is a tertiary. This is again primary. This is secondary. This is primary. Right? So if a carbon is attached to the only one carbon, it is called primary carbon. It is denoted with one degree. If a carbon is attached to the two other carbons, it is called secondary carbon. So it is denoted with two degree. If a carbon is attached to the three other carbons with a three a single bond, it is called a tertiary carbon. And if a carbon is attached to the four other carbons, it is called neocarbon. It is called neocarbon. 
right so it is called a neo carbon carbon is attached to the with four other carbons with a single bonds it is called neo carbon if a carbon carbon is having only single bond carbon is forming a single bond with only one carbon then it is called a primary carbon carbon attached to the two other carbons with a single bonds it is called secondary carbon so the remaining two a valencies are filled with hydrogens or some other elements but it is attached only to two other carbons with a single bond so we should not say it is a secondary carbon because carbon it is forming sigma bonds two sigma bonds with other carbons then only it is called a secondary so it is not a secondary carbon because it is not forming two bonds two sigma two sigma bonds one is sigma bond another is pi bond here so here carbon attached to the two other carbons with sigma bonds only with sigma bonds only so then it is called secondary carbon similarly if you take tertiary carbon means carbon attached to the three other carbons with the sigma bonds only it is called tertiary carbon so the last one is neo carbon the last one is neo carbon last one is neo carbon now so we have seen what is the primary carbon what is the secondary carbon what is a tertiary carbon and what is a neo carbon carbon attached to the four other carbons with sigma bonds it is called neo carbon if it is attached to the three other carbons it is called tertiary two other carbons secondary only one carbon it is called primary it is called primary now uh, what is a primary hydrogen primary hydrogen means hydrogen attached to the primary carbon are called primary hydrogens hydrogen attached to the so if you take this example hydrogen attached to the primary carbon so in this case how many primary carbons are there this is a primary carbon this is a secondary carbon this is again primary carbon so the hydrogens attached to the primary carbon are called primary hydrogens hydrogens attached to the secondary carbon are called secondary hydrogens hydrogen attached to the secondary carbon are called secondary hydrogens hydrogens attached to the tertiary carbon are called tertiary hydrogens and uh, there is no question of neo hydrogen because carbon has a maximum valency of how much four all four valencies are filled with other carbons so there is no scope for the uh, having hydrogen for this neo carbon that's why there is no neo hydrogen <coughs> so primary hydrogen means hydrogens hydrogen attached to the primary carbon are called primary hydrogens hydrogen attached to the secondary hydrogen carbon are called secondary hydrogens and hydrogen attached to the tertiary carbon are called tertiary hydrogens so here in any kind of objective exam such as abstract or neat so what is what kind of questions will be asked from this concept ante kanakande ikkada manaki ratio between like this they may give one compound like this they, they will give one compound and uh, they use to ask it calculate the calculate the ratio between ratio between primary secondary and tertiary carbons primary secondary and tertiary carbons so then what we have to do first you write the complete structural form so this is ch2 ch ch3 so this is carbon this is a carbon this is a carbon this is a carbon this is also carbon this is carbon this is all corners if you don't know how to write complete structural formula from bond line formula so see you know, uh, comment section lo pedite kanakanti vadaniki sambandhinchina videos meek share cheyatam jarugutundi so meek ee vidhamaina doubts unnapudiki kuda comment section lo please uh, write your write your doubt in the comment section so definitely i will respond so meeku ee ఈ బాండ్ లైన్ స్ట్రక్చర్ నుంచి కంప్లీట్ స్ట్రక్చర్ రాయటం ఎలా తెలియాలి అంటే కనుక దానికి సంబంధించిన వీడియోలు మీకు షేర్ చేస్తాను మీరు ఏదైనా కామెంట్ సెక్షన్ లో పెడితే కనుక సో హియర్ కార్బన్ సిహెచ్ త్రీ దిస్ ఈస్ కార్బన్ సిహెచ్ టూ దిస్ ఈస్ వన్ కార్బన్ అండ్ అటాచ్ టు వన్ మెథైల్ గ్రూప్ దిర్ ఇస్ వన్ మోర్ హైడ్రోజన్ సో హియర్ ఆల్సో దిస్ ఈస్ సిహెచ్ త్రీ దెన్ సిహెచ్ టూ సిహెచ్ టూ సిహెచ్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద కంప్లీట్ స్ట్రక్చరల్ ఫార్ములా ఫర్ దిస్ కాంపౌండ్ నౌ అసైన్ you see here this carbon is attached to the only one carbon it is called primary so what about this this carbon is attached to this carbon and this carbon this is a secondary and 
This is again tertiary. This is a primary. This is again tertiary. This is primary. This is secondary. This is secondary again. This is primary. Right. So here we need to learn what, which, how to how many carbons it is attached. Here only one carbon. That's why it is primary. Here it is attached to two carbons. One, two. That's why it is secondary. Here this is attached to one, two, three tertiary. Here this is attached to one, two, three tertiary. Here this is attached to one, two secondary, secondary primary. Now ratio between primary, secondary, and tertiary carbons. How many primary carbons are there? Number of primary carbons. One, two, three, four. Secondary carbons. One, two, three. What about tertiary carbons? There are only two tertiary carbons. Two tertiary carbons. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So ratio is what? Four is to three is to two. So this is a one type of question will be asked. There is a second chance, second type of question. Ratio between ratio between primary, secondary, and tertiary hydrogens. Tertiary hydrogen. So just now I have discussed. How many primary carbons are there? How many primary carbons? Primary carbons, there are four primary carbons. Each primary carbon here consists of three hydrogens. Right or not? That's why 4 into 3, 12. And each secondary carbon consists of 2 hydrogens. That's why secondary hydrogens, secondary carbon 3, 3 into 2, 6. And tertiary carbon attached to only 1 hydrogen. There are 2 primary, 2 into 1. So now ratio is 12 is to 6 is to 2. That's why this is 6 is to 3 is to 1. So question in uh, I objective exams for this one taken a Ratio between primary, secondary, tertiary carbons are got to. the primary, secondary, and tertiary hydrogens are got to. Right? So, I am giving you some examples. So, please solve and uh, comment section of the video. Right? So, what is the skeleton formula? One line formula? Complete structural formula? Right? So, please comment section. You comment section of the video, respond out. So, in all get ki koda miru, ratio between primary, secondary, tertiary carbon ki, alaga ratio between primary, secondary and tertiary hydrogens ki, um, miru, chesi, or uh, na nech koda anki, price na chandi. So, okalami ki, whether mine doubts on a pretty koda, very particular go, e concept in the doubt room taken a comment section of pretty taken a can respond out on. So, miku, complete structural formula on inchi, one line formula item, one line formula on inchi, complete structural formula item. Mir Tilskovali, so Kwalamik Tilina Tlaite Kankandi, Mir comment section of Pidite Kankandi and Mik video share just on Yala Rayal. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry Classes. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you.